Hey, hello everyone. This is Vincent. So I thought uh, I just uh, uh, I decided to make a video. Uh, I mean, it, usually I don't really uh, mix, you know, uh, my my uh, my work and then uh, this uh, video blog post. But just just make maybe today I make a little exception because I wanted to talk about. So basically, I just started a new a new job. Uh, last week and I thought uh, yeah maybe I just make a video on uh, tips about uh, what to uh, things that you need to do uh, on your first day of the job but that nobody tells you about <laughs> maybe not the first day but you know things you need to do when you start a, a new job that nobody tells you about because I you know there's a lot of people giving tips about what to do on the first few days of the job but I, I saw that there's a few tips that nobody really talks about that I think that are very important and I will I'm here to tell you about them so tip number one you need to set your mail filters so nobody really tells you about this but this is very important you know on your first when you start a new job uh, you're gonna get tons of email tons 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 of emails some of them are interesting some other emails are a little bit less interesting so you need to filter them out so that you can uh, concentrate on the the interesting part but you know as a matter of fact even if you um, get an email that is important it's good to filter it out not filter it out but filter it in the right place that way you you know oh this this folder uh, contains all the things related to, to one this one particular topic. Uh, for example, you know, emails about um, the the lunch menu. Uh, this is very important. You know, you you cannot really miss that. So it's very important that you take uh, you identify which email comes from somebody some like uh, lunch mailing list and put it in the right folder. That way, when you get very hungry, you can always like open that email. And uh, check out oh what do we have to eat today <laughs> so this is very important um, and uh, yeah you should do that tips number two you should you know get a good profile picture <laughs> and this is important because you know uh, a lot of time you start a new job and then uh, you know suddenly like all the systems where you where, where um, like all the system that the company uses, uh, you have like the default picture, you know, like something blank. That's not acceptable. You need to have a very nice picture. Even if you don't have a very nice picture, just uh, have something. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, you might use like a picture, maybe uh, from your previous company, you already have like your picture. So, oh, I'm just going to reuse that. You should not do that because, you know, you're starting a new job. This is a chance to start fresh. So it is more, it's like um, better, you know, to get like a brand new picture. And that way, you know, you don't get confused like, uh, oh, wait, this is like the old, old job or is this a new job? No, this is everything new. Get a new picture and uh, preferably a good one. Number three, email signature. Uh, so, you know, you send email to uh, people and I guess uh, you can always like just like send the, the regular mail where you, there's no signature you just say thanks your name at the end but I found it interesting you know if you can have a, like a nice signature you know when you send uh, emails to people so that's why I think it is good to spend a little bit of time to prepare a nice email signature with your name uh, name of your company and all your social media link and optionally you can put your phone number or or preferably you just put put your email I think that's good uh, number four email yourself you know after you met after you made your profile picture because uh, you know just to make sure that you know exactly how <laughs> your signature looks like but also, you know, you want to know like how your name appears in uh, an email from yourself, because uh, often, you know, you start a new call, new job and then uh, they misspell your name, and uh, you got need to catch that very early, you know. Otherwise, 
later it's gonna be a big headache you know you keep saying your name mis misspelled and you're wondering oh is that me or is that is that somebody else number four five number five install apps on your phone so this is uh, something like a little bit more practical uh, that uh, I mentioned before but uh, like yeah you know your company uses a new system and uh, like uh, I know you know like when you get home you know you don't really want to think about work but uh, there's one thing that is still nice to do is be able to check the email you know when you're outside of work and uh, you know being able to check it on the phone or e phone like email and uh, chat those are two uh, good things to have on your phone. The rest uh, can wait, but uh, I don't know. I find it nice to just just put all the things on my phone, you know, that's uh, related to the new company that I'm joining. That way, it's practical, you know. I just see stuff, you know, and it's uh, it makes sense. Uh, number six, coffee. <laughs> Knowing where to get the coffee is important. You know, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, it is important. I don't know why. I don't have much to say about this, but you know, try to figure out, you know, where the coffee machines are, and then uh, so that you, you know, when uh, you're about to uh, to fall asleep, be ready, you know, to go to right away to the coffee machines and get your coffee dosage for the day. And lastly, number eight, is it number eight or number seven? Oh, actually, that's number seven. Number seven, the lunch. Okay, so by what I mean by lunch is like uh, figure out like the good spot for lunch, but also, you know, if you figure out, you know, like uh, whether you have lunch uh, within the company or, you know, outside, uh, try to figure out the menu, you know. So if you it's scheduled by your company, I'm sure there's like a menu somewhere. But if you are you eating outside, then find the menu, find the good lunch spot outside. And if you have like a, let's say like a, there's a food truck that always comes to your company, well, figure out the menu for the food truck. That is important, you know. That way, you know if you really um, have to, like, uh, if you need to walk to the food truck, you know, what is gonna be there, or uh, otherwise, you know, you can just go directly to a restaurant nearby or cafeteria. Or, you know, just prepare to bring your own lunch sometimes, you know. Uh, it doesn't mean that you, uh, you're just going to eat by yourself at your desk, you know. No, no, no. just uh, bring your lunch and then, uh, you know, while, uh, eat with your co-workers. And, um, you know, show uh, all, all your cooking skills, you know, show, uh, oh, you know, hey guys, I made this, you know, this is very delicious, or whatever. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's it, you know, that's my, uh, uh, that's uh, kind of like the first time I'm, I'm doing a work-related uh, video. I, I, I don't usually do that, so probably not going to do one for a while, <laughs> or ever, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, see you uh, tomorrow for a new video uh, on a totally different topic. Uh, see you next time. Ciao.